we're going to go over the journal entries to issue a bond at a premium. You see here that we have a $100,000 bond. The contract interest rate is 12%. Interest is going to be paid two times a year. This is called semi-annual interest. It means it will pay, take two payments a year. And then the term is five years. So to figure out the number of payments, you would say five years times two times a year is 10 payments. The market rate of this bond is 11%. As you read through the chapter, you'll find out that if the market is paying a lower percentage than we are, then we can sell our bonds at a premium. And so in this example, we're going to sell this $100,000 bond for $103,769. So the first thing we're going to look at is our journal entry right here in gray for issuing the bond. The first thing you have to do is debit cash, $103,769. You'll credit bonds payable for the amount of the liability, and because the face amount is $100,000, that's the amount that you'll have to pay back at the end of five years. Then you're going to look at your journal entry and figure out whether you need a debit or a credit. You'll see here that you need a credit of $3,769. That credit represents a premium on bonds payable. Premium on bonds payable has a credit balance, 3769, and will add to your liability until it is fully amortized. The next thing you need to do is calculate the interest payment. The formula for the, for the interest payment is 100,000. So what I want you to do is get out your calculator and calculate this with me. Now, in some of the homework problems, they give you the interest payment, but I want you to be able to calculate this when it comes time to take the test. So, you'll say 100,000 times the percentage rate, which is 0.12, or 12%, divided by the number of payments per year, which is 2, which is $6,000. That means that every six months, we're going to send the bondholder a check for $6,000. So when it's time to pay interest, what you'll do is you'll credit cash for that interest payment of $6,000. But we're going to not only pay interest, but we're also going to amortize this premium on bonds payable. So what we're going to do is we are going to amortize, we're going to diminish this account a little bit each time we pay our interest payment. And so what we've got to do is figure out the amortization amount. So we'll take 3,769 and we'll divide that by the total number of payments, which we already said was 10 because it's a five-year bond and it pays interest twice a year. That means that every interest payment, we're going to amortize the premium by debiting premi premium on bonds payable $376.90. So we'll have a debit to premium on bonds payable of 376.9. And then interest expense is going to be less than the amount paid. You'll have to take the difference between these two numbers to come up with the amount of interest expense that will go on your income statement. So when you have a premium on bonds payable, the amortization of the premium reduces interest expense. This is the journal entry right here that you would make every six months for five years every time you pay interest. Then at the end of the life of the bond, you're going to pay off the bond, so you'll debit your liability, 100000 and you'll credit cash, 100000 and then your bonds payable will be zero on your balance sheet. And by that time, your premium on bonds payable will also be zero because it will be fully amortized because you took one-tenth of that away every time you paid an interest payment. Remember, the definition of carrying value is your bonds payable plus the unamortized premium on bonds payable. 
You'll use that later in the redemption of bonds. Carrying value means that you take the liability plus the premium and you add those together. 